we're back, fellow knife enthusiast, with our next episode of AK Blade. I'm C, and this is... And this is... I'm not saying it. You're not saying what? You know what, okay? I'm not having this discussion anymore, okay? This debate about whether I'm the sidekick or not, more not, more not than yes, is over, okay? I consider this matter closed. The book is shut. Put some pennies on the eyes because that stiff ain't breathing. And she's just Joel, the sidekick. You know, I know you're the sidekick. We had a caller this week, a customer who, you know, called and I happened to answer the phone. And he told me that you were the sidekick. Thank you. I think you love me. You really love me. You know who you are out there. I didn't mention you by name. Maybe next week. Mm -hmm. This week, we're going to talk about the newest knives from several great companies, such as Smith & Wesson, Medford Knife & Tool, Lion Steel, and Bear Ops. You're trying to goad me. It won't work. We also have some knives from Wee Knife. We cross. We cross. You can bite me about that. If I thought you weren't my friend, I don't think I could bear it. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. As always, <coughs> don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can touch base with us and see any new videos that we post. Also, click the notification bell to receive instant messages so you know exactly when you can catch, uh, watch more videos of us making fools of ourselves. Mostly just her. Nice try. Now, let's not wait any further. I'm sure you guys are ready for us to talk about the table. Mm -hmm. Sidekick, release the knives. No. What? I told you, I am Jewel. Just Jewel. I will not respond to anything else. Are you saying that you won't be my sidekick? Look, I've made it clear I'm not the sidekick, and nor will I ever respond to it. So what are you saying? Oh my god. I have Same. neither the time nor the crayons to explain this to you any simpler. Are you breaking up the team? I mean, what's Batman? Without a Robin. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you can ask Michael Keaton, okay? He did the Batman movie without Chris O'Donnell. Oh, wait. So you he are. Did it just fine. I'm saying I'm not the sidekick, okay? I'm just Joel. Just Joel. And just Joel will begin talking about the knives now, if you don't mind. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Someone was mad off screen. Sounds like it. Our first knife is the Smith & Wesson knife. I got you back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. An out the front knife, if I ever saw one. Hey, Jewel, do me a favor. Hold this. Just by the end there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. Yes, you do. No, I don't. All righty. I believe this is where... <clears throat> uh... Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, this is an out the front knife. Jesus! <laughs> The Lord is born. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord, Amen. With an assisted opening spear point, 3.5 inch OS8 high carbon stainless steel blade. <sighs> this knife also has a black aluminum handle with a black oxide finish. It's 8.75 inches overall, 5.25 uh, inches closed, and weighs about six ounces. Well, you said you wanted me to liven things up. This knife also has a glass breaker tip on the butt of the handle and a single position pocket clip. It's deployed, as you just seen, through the use of a thumb slider, which manually starts the blade movement until, bam, the spring assist mechanism springs into action. 97 X. Bam. The future of rock and roll. 
It also has a lanyard hole and a safety lock. Safety lock for a reason, people. Caution. Hey, Joe. No. Want to hold this no. one? No. <laughs> okay. Back. <clears throat> this knife. <laughs> hold on. I can't stop laughing. Great. I'm glad you find this hilarious. Go ahead. Go ahead. So clearly written. Caution. Blade ejects. Mm, well, uh, I find it interesting, <laughs> Carrie. OTFs are an acquired taste. Obviously. In which my palate is not refined. Ah. You either love them or hate them. Kind of like the opera. I'm not going to know what they're saying. These are broken. Mine are broken. I think this is a sort of a all-in-one type of knife. It has very quick deployment and it's got a glass breaker in case of emergency. You know, I really would like to know uh, what it would be like to try out the glass breaker tip. I mean, are you really going to like shove your hand into a window to break it with that little tiny thing? I mean, I feel like you'd be better off just using the knife itself to break the glass. Oh, no. You know, we could try. Let's see if it works on this balloon. No. Nah. Would you hold this for me? No. Oh, come on. I'm not your magician's assistant. You are my sidekick. Oh. Uh, you did a lousy job. Yeah. <laughs> but... oh. See, it works. <laughs> That's not glass. Okay. That is the major flaw in yeah, that, isn't okay. it? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Whew. The glass breaker tip, yeah, I, on a window. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting back to that part. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. I imagine mm -hmm. it would leave you in pieces. <laughs> Get it? <sighs> because you'd be breaking glass into pieces. Mm -hmm. And because it would probably hurt, the glass would end up cutting your arm. Mm -hmm. Or you breaking a balloon into pieces. That was, that was mature and funny. I can always get you to cut that. Yeah, okay. Uh, go ahead. Next knife is the Bear Ops Bear Swipe 4 Rescue. A very unique carry, I'd have to say. Yes, indeed. The knife has a black Tonto cut blade mm -hmm. made of Sandvik 14C28N. Stainless steel, which is 3.25 inches long. The grind is hollow, while the thickness of the blade is 0.12. Mm -hmm. The assisted opening liner lock comes in at about 58 to 60 on the Rockwell scale. The handle is also made of G10. You can't handle the G10! You can't handle the truth! Some people can see, okay? This knife also has additional features like a glass breaker. Uh, a seat belt cutter or gut hook, uh, which can be opened with a little thumb stud here. Uh, finally, this flipper has a black tip-up right carry pocket clip. And the overall length of this knife is 7.5 inches and weighs about 4 ounces. This knife has some really helpful extras. Yes, it does. Um, following the bear swipe is the Bear Ops Rancor 2. Uh, come, it kind of is like a, uh, has a pattern, I think is what it's called, the, the MC400 SSS. Oh, I so it uses patterns like uh, you would find on like a case. blade pattern, like a case knife. Yeah. There you go. This folding knife has a modified drop point satin finish blade made of CPM 30V steel, while the handle is made of stainless steel. Mm -hmm. The knife weighs in at about four and a half ounces and comes in at about, once again, 58 to 60 on the Rockwell scale, and that it's just short of eight inches, mm -hmm. maybe like seven, eight, seven, nine. Uh, this knife, in addition to the flipper stud for opening, also has dual thumb studs and a precision ball bearing system for an even easier deployment. Uh, there's also a tip-up carry pocket clip. Uh, finally, this liner lock has a black backspacer, a lanyard hole, and various areas of jimping on the top of the blade, the back of the handle, and on the backspacer. This is a USA made USA. knife. <laughs> I always like that part. It also comes with a black knife pouch, so you can keep it safe, and maybe tie it to your belt or, yeah. you know, whatever. It's got a box, too. Yeah. 
trying to, I know what you're trying to do. It's not, it's not, it's not going to work. I know that I would want to bring this with me everywhere, though. There is just so much to this knife. A lot of additional aspects to this knife as well, mm -hmm. which is at first glance, it doesn't look um, extremely impressive. I know this knife has just a few features, though, that's different from other knives, and I think that's what makes it stand out. Uh, the colors are a bit muted, but personally, I think on this knife, the colors are neutral only to bring out the things like the minor cutouts on the handle or the look and finish of the blade. It's just clean, cut, smooth, very appealing. I would almost not want to use it. I agree with you, but I would clearly use it. The knife is both like and unlike a traditional folder or even kind of like a, a para frame knife. Yeah. Uh, you guys can find the Bear Ops Ranker 2 on this is your water bottle. No, I got mine right here. No, that's not. This literally says C's water bottle right there. It says Jules, just Jules. No, it doesn't. Look, sidekick, where are we headed? We're headed to AtlanticKnife.com. So would you keep this as an EDC? Most definitely. I mean, I, I like that it's made in the USA. Mm -hmm. S30, uh, S30VN yeah. steel. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I like protection for my finger when you're doing cutting in the, mm -hmm. what do you call it, the flipper stud yeah. really covers up your finger. Yeah, it does. When you use it, it has a nice uh, fit and finish. What about you? I don't know. I think I would like it if it were prettier. Because that's what people look for in a knife. Prettiness. Yes. Anyways, the next knife is the Lion Steel Bushcraft B40. Fixed blade. Yep. I know how you feel about those usually, mm -hmm. so I'll talk about it. Fine with me. This knife is um, has a 3.8 inch spear point blade of Sleppner steel, mm -hmm. which uh, is, has a stone wash finish. It comes in at about 60 to 61 on the hardness scale and has a flat grind. The handle is made of G10 material. You can't handle the G10. Sounded better when you said it. Yeah, it's still pretty funny, yeah. Mm. And is a little more than eight and a half inches long. The knife by itself weighs seven and a half ounces, but ends up weighing 9.6 mm -hmm. when you put the... Uh, put in the, carry it on your belt in the sheath, right? Yes. I that's like the, the sheath. That's nice. That's the one thing. We'll get to that. This fixed blade was made in Italy and was designed by Michel Moletra Pinsato. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this knife? Well, I don't dislike it. Um, I just don't find myself using fixed blades very often. Although, if, if I were going to be honest, I mean, this is a nice knife. But I like the Topps Rapid, Rapid Strike uh, fixed blade a lot more. Um, it was just cooler looking and smaller, so it fit my hand better. So, And I could put on my boot. I remember that because I had the boot sheath. I like that, too. True. But... This one is meant for a little tougher work. I mean, I wouldn't want to try to batten with the uh, Topps Rapid Strike. It's a little small. But I like the leather sheath it comes with. Oh, that is very nice. But it's not really a bushcraft sheath. It needs to be Kydex or something that you would tie to your pack. Or I mean, I, I like it. Don't I get me do. Wrong. It's, it's nice. nice. But, you know. <clears throat> All right. I think, um, I mean, I would... I don't know. I might put it in my toolbox. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just an everyday, dependable, fixed blade. I mean, ready for pretty much. I mean, you could use it for pretty much anything, anytime. I mean, it's just waiting. It's just waiting to become yours for $155.99 from. You will never strike out at AtlanticKnife.com. Just a bit outside. You're never off tune at AtlanticKnife.com. The sidekick spin. AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> wow. That was an outright ad. Yeah. I think we're getting worse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we're like wine. We get better with time. You know, a census taker once tried to test me. Really? Yes. What happened? I ate his liver. 
with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. The census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. You may do that. Yeah, you have to. If you're going to make that reference, you have to do that. Everybody knows that reference. Everybody should know that reference. If you don't. <laughs> Oof. Uh-oh, I know what's coming now. <laughs> Our next knife is just as good as wine, and that is the Medford Smooth Criminal. <laughs> hey, see. What? You've been hit by a smooth criminal. <laughs> that wasn't funny. It was a little funny. I don't think you're fit to handle the jokes. You don't even know me. <laughs> Ordinarily, it takes someone hours to discover I'm not fit to handle the jokes. You don't even know me. Ordinarily, it takes someone hours to discover I'm not fit to handle a defense. Oh, come on. That was, that was like freaking funny there. Right. Okay. I'll give it to you. No matter what it says. Okay. You're funny. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious there. If I didn't think you were funny, I wouldn't let you work with me. Oh, he wouldn't let me work with him. Yeah, that's how it goes down here. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this before Greg Medford crawls in here. All right, this button lock. Button lock, is it really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. That's Okay, I got you. It's seven inches overall and has a three-inch blade that's made of S35VN steel with a tumbled finish. It has a jimped-out flipper stud for flipping, and has a hard anodized aluminum green handle and spring. This knife weighs five ounces and has a lanyard hole uh, and is 100% American made. All of this was made in the USA. Now, don't go flipping this thing around like a fool or Greg Medford will come right into your home and take it away from you. I've seen him do it. It's not a pretty picture. You know though, Mm -hmm. Maybe we should just show everyone once how they can open and close it. Well, I'm a perfect one for this job because I can open and close this knife exceptionally well. Really? Yes. But I haven't been practicing or anything, so <laughs> don't get bent out of shape, Mr. Medford. Can you open and close it so well uh -huh. that you'd be willing to stake your first knife challenge oh, oh, on yes. it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, then I guess we have ourselves a knife challenge. Oh my gosh. Director Z, could you put four seconds on the clock? If Jewel can open and close this knife without touching the blade in four seconds, then she will have gotten her first knife challenge win. Ooh, all right, no pressure. Joel, mm -hmm. are you ready? Are you? I'm always ready. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go. Oh. Yeah. Did you realize? Uh, that I, <laughs> I was gonna keep no. you, but make sure you didn't cut yourself. What? I wasn't um, going to cut myself. I'm all good. I'm not the one who cuts oh, myself. Oh, that's right. Balloons. Woo! Yeah, uh -huh. yeah okay. okay. Let, let, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, let's not skip the uh, cut yourself. Hold Who's on. cut themselves here? I'm getting ready to congratulate you. you. Congratulations. You have finally gotten your first knife challenge win. Congratulations. I'm on top. Well, you just wait till next time. Ne the next the next knife challenge. You just wait, Charlie Brown. Okay, Linus, here's your blankie. Where did you get this? Believe it or not, that's my middle child's. Uh, oh, I meant, I gotta be careful here. Don't want to give away my age. Oh. Uh, that is my middle child's blanket from when they were a baby. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you washed that before you just it is washed it before I put it in the storage. My wife likes to keep it and give them all to them when they move out. If they move out. <sighs> well. 
<laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. Moving on. Our next blade is the Wee Knife syn Synchro. Synchro? synchro? Like, yeah. Like synchronized swimming? Sure, or synchronizing your watch. Either one works. Yep. Uh, this folder has a green titanium integral handle with a very cool design and texture. Um, a stone washed finish CPM S35VN steel blade that has a flat grind and a blood groove. It also has a green titanium pocket clip to match the handle. A lanyard hole, as always. Uh, this frame lock also has a chimped out flipper stud and finally comes with a like a pouch and a cleaning cloth, I think. We didn't take them out. Previously. That's all right. Just throw it all around. Let me open that faster. There this knife is different mm -hmm. from the Wii's we've done before. Yeah, it Instead is. of, you know, the open handle design and cutouts we're used to, mm -hmm. The knife has a closed area all the way up to the flipper. Yeah, it does. Where the you know this yeah, where the flipper stud comes ducks in, out yeah. and then it goes inside when you're Yeah. Actually kind of reminds me of some of the first wheeze that came out a couple of years ago. Hmm. All right. Um I also think I, I like that aspect and I also like the look and sound of the knife, especially when I open it. <laughs> Um, I would probably consider adding this to my favorite list. Um, I like how slim it is, the handle. And although it isn't as slim as the Artisan, uh, is it the Gentleman's Knife we did? Or was it just the Artisan Slim? It was something like that that we did in like the first video. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's not too slim. It's still like a good size. It is slightly thinner handle, mm -hmm. but it does work well. I think this might be... A favorite of mine also. Mm -hmm. Although I think I prefer uh, the gray or the black. I can't decide. Not me. I mean, I'm green all the way, all the time. I mean, I think my entire favorite knife list consists of knives in green and may maybe a few blue. Thanks for the update. <laughs> Our next and last knife is the Wii 037. I think this one's been added to my favorite list as well. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyways, this frame lock has a blue 6AL4V titanium handle, a bowler M390 blade with a polished bead blast finish, and a flat grind. This folder also has a flipper stud, with minimal jimping, a single position pocket clip, and like most Wii knives, comes with a pouch and cleaning cloth. Much like this one, I'm not getting it out of that one. That's all right. Uh, I really like the look of this handle. It's it's like a blue-gray, but at certain angles, I mean, if, if you're looking at it, it kind of changes colors, almost like it's anodized. It's got like slightly darker areas of blue, like if you look like right here and maybe like right there, because I, I was playing with it on my, hmm. not um, on my on my break, but um, I also like uh, the washed or like a like a used finish it has. This knife is just really one of a kind. No, oh. well, this blade was also designed by mm -hmm. Kellen Bogardis. It weighs four ounces and it's about nine inches overall. Mm -hmm. This knife has an open flow handle design and a single, very small hourglass shaped spacer at the bottom of the handle. And it has such easy deployment and no blade play whatsoever. No. We Knife has just done a really great job making some really great knives. And you guys can pick up this really great knife the 037 and the Synchro on AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. we should do more just to keep things lively. Okay, fine. What are you doing? No package is too big at AtlanticKnife.com. Ah! Hold still. Ah! Receive the star treatment 
at AtlanticKnife.com. Find these wees and all other knives from the today's table on AtlanticKnife.com. See? I'm, I'm up for it. All right. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Atlantic Knife, where we post knife pics, videos, news, anything you can think of. Put that down. On 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not to mention... We post new quick minute knife Indeed. previews <laughs> on YouTube every week. And I do longer in-depth five minute videos about a vast assortment of knives every week as well. We are also on Pinterest, so any followers, look us up on there. I mean, we're going to try and start posting some, uh, some do-it-yourself, like, tidbits about sharpening and carrying and carrying for your knife, you know, maybe some pics about sheaths and fun, cool pics of knives and different artillery and gear we have, so get on there as soon as possible. Can I? Can, can, can you? Wait? Mention about our artillery. Sure. We got it. tanks. <laughs> AKs. Like, yeah. I, mean, I bought one of those, but uh, I couldn't I couldn't get it in the driveway. So it's just I think out we there. have done enough company boasting to satisfy the boss. What do you think? Oh, definitely. Want to hold this for me? No. Yep, sidekick will not hold it for me. That proves she's not the sidekick. <sighs> I won't even have to sign again. You've seen it so many times. Yeah. And with that, I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel, the sidekick, and we are. Don't point that knife at me. <laughs> yeah, that's funnier than you think. Signing off from Atlantic Knife. Dot com. You are never off tune at lagknife.com. Stop it. Just redo it. You are never off tune at lanticknife.com. <laughs> it didn't want to spin. Just last time, I swear. I'm going to count her out. I swear. Okay, hold on. I just got to. Receive the star treatment at AtlanticKnife.com You're a naughty carrot. That's a big bang. <laughs>